Speaking in Parliament this afternoon, the Chief Minister revealed that over £23 million had been advanced to GJBS since November 2019. He specified this was in fact an advance and not a loan. Uh, the issues relate, for example, to the collapse of the pound sterling against the euro, retentions due from uh, clients, um, which the company still has out in the market and it's expecting to recover, uh, monies due from the government as client, because the government as client has not yet been billed for particular works which have not finished, and therefore the government as shareholder is supporting the company until the bill comes to the government as client and we pay as client, and then we are repaid as shareholder. Um, increased costs, Mr Speaker, during the period of the pandemic and reduced output also in that period. Mr Picardo said this was nothing new and that in the past the government had loaned the company money. 2003, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the company was loaned £2.3 million pounds by uh, the government. Um, in 2008, it had an injection of £6 million pounds by the government. In 2009, it had an injection of £21 million pounds by the government. In 2010, it had an injection of £27 million pounds by the government. And in 2011, Mr Speaker, it had an injection of £42 million pounds by the government. The Chief Minister also said that 10% of the £23 million pounds advanced to the company had already been paid back to the government. In today's session of Parliament, the opposition put questions in respect of community care. Speaker, does the government acknowledge that the decision by trustees of community care to apply the eligibility criteria in respect of the community officers scheme from the 17th of February 2020 in a particular way has caused hardship to some people? Mr Speaker, the government does not acknowledge or consider that the decision of the trustees of community care in respect of community officers has caused hardship. Given that what the trustees have done is introduce means testing to ensure that the charity continues to pay persons who are in receipt of sums below £21,000 a year and guarantees them the difference between £15,000 and that amount. Um, has the Chief Minister gleaned any information as to why the date of the 17th of February 2020 was specifically selected? I have heard many theories about it. I have heard theories about relatives of mine. I have heard theories about supporters of my party. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, I'm quite happy to uh, seek from the trustees of community care a more uh, detailed explanation as to why they chose the date. The customs union type agreement was also discussed during this afternoon's session, with the chief minister only confirming that he had a very good idea as to what sort of agreements Gibraltar wanted. The basis for such an agreement is clear to the government, but the actual model will be developed after continued further engagement with the local businesses whose activities are relevant to this issue, and of course with the European Commission once the negotiations commence. The Business Improvement District Act was also debated and passed in Parliament this afternoon. Parliament has now adjourned. See Nadia.